Guys, you got to see this. Get, check this. Look at it. Oh, my. Oh, 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 no way. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm I see. see. Look at Dude, it. look at this clip. Are you oh, kidding me? What? Look, look at it. How do you find that balance? Uh, just shut the brain off and do Sammy things. Race day, Daytona short track, Harley XR 750. See that shift lever on the right hand side? One of the many unique things about this bike. It's tricky because we already got a 55 on it. You can't really go any higher than it. Um, it's good now, but it's like one of those things. They can make an Indian do whatever. They don't fucking tell me nothing like that. Yeah, you know. Wrap it around this bitch. I saw that. Like, so fuck. Bad. The old guy still got it. Kinda. <laughs> Yeah. Bit of smack talk, shop talk with Joe Cop and the boys before going out and setting fast qualifier. Pole position for a heat race number one, and I'm wondering how the heck am I going to get this XR off the line? She hooked and wheelied a little bit that time, gives me a little bit of hope, kind of trying to just grunt it off the line. Picking out my starting position here. Mm, I'm like, no, not that one gonna pick this little rut on the right oh, it looks nice and straight not too deep easy to stay in there's nothing like the start of the season first heat race Daytona night show about to start ultra focus locked in green let's go oh right here you can see Briar gets bucked out of the saddle whoops red flag Having some minor issues out there when I let off the gas, the throttle sticks a little bit, kind of throws you into the corner a little bit crazy. Dicey moments in the heat race with Jared Vandercoy and then another red flag. I was able to lock it down on the next heat race start, bring home the win. It was nice to get in race situations and also to get it off the line. That was like the biggest unknown for me was uh, going to be the start. Uh, Slam and Sammy's here to play and uh, hopefully no slamming is necessary because I like to do it from the front. Then it was time for the Mission Foods 5K Dash. We did pole position, heat race win. Dash for cash, 5K in the bank. One final corner, here he comes. Wow. Sammy Halbert on the XR 750 wins 5,000 bucks here at Daytona on the short track. Come on, Harley fans, if you're here, give him a yell, cheer him on. Sammy Halbert doing it the old fashioned way with a carbureted XR 750. Everything's looking good at this point, dominating so far. Main event next, pressure's on. Than Bill Warner is. He said, We knew a thing or two about designing a flat track bike back in the early 70s when we put the XR together. And we're looking for the championship race TDK. Tom, do you want to find you? Main event time, see that focus in the eyes. Time for a whole shot. Yes, nailed it. First time I've led a national in a while and I am feeling the flow just in the zone. Oh, 
no, smoke coming out. Been leading for 17 laps. Now it starts puffing smoke, getting oil all over my brakes, starts to get squirrely. At this point, I'm really struggling to adjust to no brakes. I kind of thought I just lost them because they're fading towards the end of the race. Didn't realize they had oil all over them. Clearly, he's going to pass me, but oh, he takes a shot when he does. Bro, thank you, I guess. Ah. I seen him holding a black flag right there, but he's just holding it in the air and not pointing it directly at me. So kind of strange. I figure it's probably for me because I know I have a problem, but you got to point it at me and then I'll pull off. like hold the number board I, I didn't know it was a rule to have to hold the 69 number board but I was expecting it I was expecting to have the flag pointed at me to have my number 69 on a board they need to make it clear that I am the issue and then I'll pull off <laughs> here I'm like yeah is it me I'm trying to talk to these guys but we got no communication I legit did not know what to do, but something did not feel right. I just kind of knew that if you're not gonna point the black flag at me or hold my number board, there's no way for me to really honestly know it's me. It could be anyone out there in this pack. All right, now I'm just kind of cruising, thinking about pulling off, and they pulled the black flag, no, no more flag. All right, I guess I keep going. Oh, there goes the podium slipping away. Bye. <laughs> Let Davis have this one, but that's it. Nobody else is going by. Mies is next in line and not a chance. All right, getting to the end of the race. We got a little lapper action here. Let me just bump him out the way. There's Mies back there chasing me home to the finish. Blowing oil all over his face shield. No brakes. Bro, you still can't beat me at Daytona. I don't even need brakes or oil in my transmission. Whatever. White flag, last lap, bringing her home. I'm like, my gloves falling off. The bike's still running somehow. I'm black flagged, unblack flagged. Rolling off the track, a lot going through my mind. This is my 20th year racing professionally down here in Daytona and never have I experienced something like that. Don't know what's gonna happen at this point, wondering if I just made a huge mistake. Briar's coming up here, a little bit upset about the oil on his face shield. I don't blame him, you know, like it was a weird deal. So in the end, I got to keep my fifth place finish because I got disqualified, then undisqualified.
because they did not follow the proper procedure of holding the number board with your number on it while they're flag flagging you. So got them on a technicality, but yeah, I knew something was off there. I explained this further in another video I'll post a link to. Fifth place on the night, we'll take this, moving on to the next one.